Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to this Technifiber T-Fight RS315 racket review. This is an update to the XTC version and uh, it's a 98 square inch racket with a pretty thick beam. They've increased the beam width a little bit on this one compared to the previous version. It keeps the kind of French inspired paint with the white, red and blue. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I think I like kind of white rackets. I think this looks pretty cool It's a bit different from what you usually see which is black blue red and orange uh, color uh, more yellow color and uh, Yeah, so pretty good paint job from this one uh, One of the issues I had was the very rectangular grip shape from Technifiber um, But with the leather grip it worked better for me So when I switched the grip which is a synthetic grip to leather I liked it a bit more, I could easier feel the bevels and felt a bit thinner, so that helped my game. This racket is made for players who can hit big from the baseline, create a lot of topspin. Uh, it's 315 grams unstrung, so it's quite a heavy frame, uh, very headlight balance, even more so when I added the leather grip, but the very headlight balance and um, a fast feeling frame, quite stiff up in the 70s, stiffness rating unstrung, so when you add strings it drops a little bit below 70, but it's still quite a stiff frame. Uh, it's uh, dampened with foam and uh, should be very stable thanks to the five-sided RS section. This is the new thing, so the tech seems to work pretty well. I haven't felt any kind of um, discomfort in my elbow or wrist while playing with this frame. Now it's strung with String Project Armor, which is a softer polyester string that I like. I also tried it with a Technifiber Triax, which is that kind of hybrid between a polyester and a multifilament string. And I liked it with that one too. I preferred it with this one though. I think a poly uh, works a little bit better in these power frames. You need some more spin and control to get the ball to land in the court because it does pack a lot of power. Best strokes for this frame, serve, really liked it, very fast and whippy through the air, packs a lot of power, uh, great on serve. Uh, also liked it at the net for the same reasons, easy to maneuver, still very stable thanks to the stiffness and that beam, that beam really seems to work. Um, although you can feel it a little bit when you grip the racket, so if you're really sensitive with gripping the throat, uh, it might feel a bit strange because you can actually feel that five-sided beam. Uh, it's the RS section. Uh, but serve and volley makes me think it works for doubles players really well. Big serve, you finish off with the volley. Uh, or if you're a big hitter from the back of the court, you can put a lot of topspin on your shots. You can really belt the, the shot for a winner because it packs a lot of power. Uh, but it's not completely uncontrollable. The string pattern is pretty tight in the middle. So the, the flatter trajectory shots actually have some control. You don't need to worry too much about a really high launch of the ball. So that part they did well. I think it's a well-engineered frame. I uh, actually like playing with it, quite a lot of fun. A little bit too powerful for my liking, but I could see a lot of players uh, like this quite a bit, as it is not as uh, powerful as the CES T-Flash from Technifiber or a Pure Drive or the Extreme from Head, for example. So it's, it's more kind of towards that Pure Strike Tour, a Speed Pro, uh, that kind of um, you know tweener, but more advanced tweener frame with a bit more weight. Gives you a bit more pop, plenty stable, and um, if you can handle the, the weight, you'll be pretty happy on the court. Pretty low swing weight, it's below 320 with these strings, and with the Technifiber Triax 1.38, it was a bit above 20, uh, 320, so 321. So that's a really low swing weight for this kind of static weight. When I added the leather grip, it was 348 grams, and with the standard synthetic grip and the Triax strings, it was around. 343 grams and uh, so it's, it's not a very light frame 
it does, uh, but it still swings pretty light thanks to the headlight feel. So these are my thoughts about this frame. Uh, really interesting frame from Technofiber. I would love now to try the 305, which is a little bit more of a control-oriented frame with a slightly thinner beam. I think that will work better for my game. Uh, but for players who like a little bit extra help from the frame, a bit more power and uh, a frame that can really serve bombs and hit some, some impressive winners from the back of the court, this frame is very interesting and definitely should be, should be demoed uh, along with the Pure Strike Tour if that's the kind of frame you're looking for. So for more advanced players that want a bit of help from the frame, this is a racket that should be on your demo list and um, it's another pretty good frame from Technofiber. Uh, it's not as plush and nice as the TF40, it gives you a, but it gives you a little bit more for free, both when it comes to spin and power, without being completely uncontrollable. So for the specs of this frame, 98 square inch head size or 632 square centimeters, which is another way to measure it, but uh, the square inches is what, the, it's kind of the standard. Length 27 inches, uh, standard as well, 315 grams unstrung. Balance is 31 centimeters, which is 10 points headlight. So this is a headlight frame, as I said. Uh, swing weight is around 200, you know, 85, 90 ish unstrung. Beam 23 millimeter, 23 millimeter, and 22.5 millimeters. A uh, grip comes with synthetic. Now this is an overgrip and a leather grip on this one. String pattern as 1619. Pretty, uh, pretty beefy frame, but with a very headlight feel. Slightly different, so you need to be open to uh, a bit higher static weight, but it's still whippy enough for a fast swinging players uh, who can handle that extra pace that this frame provides. If we talk about the different areas of this frame, we start with power. This is not all the way a pure drive. It's more a pure strike-ish scale. The head, the speed, uh, these kind of frames, that's where this racket is, uh, extreme tour. Uh, this is the territory of these frames that give you power, but it's not completely uncontrollable uh, and it's not that much for free. You need to provide some yourself, but it, it helps if you have a big loopy top spin swing, I think. Uh, it really helps uh, those kind of swing techniques. Control is decent for the kind of frame it is. But if you're a finesse player who, who rely on control and touch, this is not the frame for you. There are many other ones. Perhaps if you want a Technofiber frame, check out the TF40 or the 305, which has an 1819 string pattern. Uh, touch, it's uh, not bad, but it's not like one of those rackets that you can hit drop shot over and over like Novak Djokovic. Uh, you need to be a bit more... Um, um, it's not a super finesse frame, but it has decent feel. I mean, uh, if I would compare it to a Clash or a Pure Drive, I prefer this one, it feels a bit more connected while those feel a bit muted or too powerful to, to handle the droppers and stuff. Comfort is decent, um, I, I would not recommend this frame uh, to anyone who has el tennis elbow or any kind of wrist issues because it is a stiff frame, although I, after a session I didn't feel any kind of tenderness in my arm. I think it's something that might pop up down the line when you play with this. Also some players add a higher string tension to control the power and then you know the arm issues might pop up down the line. So beware if you have any kind of issues such as tennis elbow. Uh, maneuverability, yes, very fast, whippy, headlight feel, uh, feels great through the air despite the thicker ish beam uh, so that was a big benefit i think it felt fast and aerodynamic so good good uh, things there also quite a stable frame despite feeling whippy because it has a higher static weight very nice at the net quite perfect for serve and volley and doubles players as i said sweet sports pretty big for a 98 square inch uh, head size racket i mean obviously the weight of it helps it makes it more stable creates a bigger sweet spot but i, I did enjoy hitting with this one it felt, uh, it felt like a big sweet spot, above average at least. Spin, it's not an aero style racket, but it gives you some decent spin, more than a TF40 with an 1820 or the 305 version which has 1819. This is a more spin friendly frame, although it doesn't go all the way to an aero style or an extreme where the spin and the launch of the ball is, is a lot more. Um, so that area is pretty good, stroke by stroke. Back from the back of the court, you need to have top spin to control your shots. Um, if you're a flatter hitter, yes, you can benefit from the slightly tighter pattern compared to other 1619, but still, I think you will feel that some balls say long if you hit uh, flat. So, you need to add some, 
some top spin on this. Great on serve, whippy fast, powerful, very good serving stick. Volley is fast, stable, thanks to the stiffness, just point and shoot. Uh, so really liked it at the net. On the backhand wing, I liked it the most of my ground strokes. Felt good both on my one-handed and my double-handed. Uh, perhaps thanks to the stability, the stiffness of the frame. So even if you hit a little bit off center, the racket remains stable on, on impact. I think that was a very good thing here. Uh, so really liked it on the backhand. And um, yeah, the touch shots, not great, but uh, I wasn't expecting so much on the touch level from a frame like this. But a uh, very nice power frame of both wings and serve and volley. So who is this racket for? Who, what's the player level? I wouldn't recommend a racket this heavy to anyone below the, the 4.0 NTRP rating. So you need to be have pretty decent technique, pretty consistent ground strokes and be able to hit with topspin from, from both wings. Then I think this frame could be interesting. So 4.0 and upwards, I would recommend this one. If you're 3.5, or 3.0 perhaps you should check out 300 that's perhaps a little bit easier to use in that that sense uh, the playing style i would say is a, is a baseliner hits big uh, big ground strokes top spin to control the power uh, i think then you will really enjoy that extra pop that this racket provides uh, really aggressive style of play i think helps for for defensive players you would would like a bit more control to finesse the ball past your opponent and, and so on. Uh, like I said, very good doubles players racket, a very you know nice on volleys and serve. And uh, I wouldn't say that this is for anyone with any arm issues uh, because it is a bit stiff as a racket. I think that's all. Uh, to summarize, I really enjoy this frame. Uh, very nice uh, on certain aspects uh, and not as nice on some like the control comfort and touch. I didn't expect that from a power frame. This is a power frame and it's made to hit big uh, or go home. And uh, it's a little bit too powerful for me at times, but I still had fun with it. And when I was on my game, I could really hit some good shots with this frame. All right, that's all for this review. Thanks for watching. And if you want more, please subscribe to the channel. Tell all your tennis friends. I appreciate every like, share and subscribe as you know. And if you want even, even more content from the Tennis Nerd, you check out TennisNerd.net or Patreon.com slash Tennis Nerd, where you can subscribe for a small fee and then you get unique content every week. Uh, slightly different, slightly behind the scenes, a bit of uh, secret stuff and so on. If you want to find the right racket for you, uh, which a lot of people are looking for and it is a long and, and can be a difficult journey. Some people are just happy with the, whatever they use. Some players really want to feel 100% connected to the racket. And if it's very important to you to find the right racket, check out my consultation service where you get in-depth help on finding the right model for you and the right spec or strings that could actually work for your game. And uh, I really enjoy working with players on getting a good setup so they can focus on their tennis. That's all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I wish you all the best. Take care, stay safe and don't forget to play some tennis.